the majority of learners want to know what their level of English is. Or they may be asking themselves, how fluent is my English? Therefore, we developed a general English test to tell exactly what level of English you have. Here is how it will work. You're going to have to complete 25 sentences, which will measure your fluency in English. They will seem quite easy at first, but as you progress through the test, they will become more and more difficult. Depending on how many questions you get right, you'll get a score that's going to tell you what your current level of English is. A1 and A2. Beginner. B1 and B2. If you're intermediate. C1. If you're advanced. And C2. If you're a native or have mastery. Before we get started, take a pen and paper or find a way to keep track of how many right answers you get. If you do not do this, you won't be able to know what your level is at the end of this video. When you're done, be sure to share your score in the comments section. Are you ready? Let's get started. Sophia really enjoyed the meal last night. What did she order? I saw that show too. What did you think? Can Steve finish the job? Tomorrow? Can Steve finish the job by tomorrow? I would love to. It a read. I would love to give it a read. Michael is looking forward. From you. Michael is looking forward to hearing from you. We have been together for a year now. We have been together for almost a year now. Martin ran a big bill at the hotel bar. Martin ran up a big bill at the hotel bar. When the ball flew near him, he... When the ball flew near him, he ducked. I haven't my seatbelt yet. I haven't fastened my seatbelt yet. You're to make me cry. You're about to make me cry. Ever. They were young, they knew the way home. Ever since they were young, they knew the way home. Great things are going, sooner or later, it's going to get ruined. No matter how great things are going, sooner or later, it's going to get ruined. 
Will you? It for me? Will you handle it for me? You caught me. Surprise last night. You caught me by surprise last night. There. Plenty of fish in the sea. There are plenty of fish in the sea. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? It is hard for me to decide. There is a of options. There is a range of options. I think they enjoyed the movie. I think they thoroughly enjoyed the movie. I found everything that I looking for my whole life. I found everything that I had ever been looking for my whole life. He should take in a right turn. He should have taken a right turn. What is the idea? Daylight savings time? What is the idea behind daylight savings time? I think you should. Your steps. I think you should retrace your steps. When the police came, they all out. When the police came, they all cleared out. He was to win the argument. He was determined to win the argument. His breath was bad. You could smell it when his mouth was closed. His breath was so bad. You could smell it when his mouth was closed. That was the last question. Congratulations. As I said at the beginning of this video, depending on the number of right answers you got, your English ability can be described. A1 and A2. Beginner. B1 and B2. Intermediate. C1 and C2. Advanced. With that in mind, if you got anything from 1 to 13 answers right, your level is probably between A1 and A2. Your level is most likely A2, if you got between 8 and 13 answers right. With an A1 English level, you can understand and use familiar everyday expressions and very basic phrases aimed at the satisfaction of the needs of a concrete type. With an A2 English level, you can 
understand sentences and frequently used expressions related to areas of most immediate relevance. For example, very basic personal information, shopping, local geography, and employment. With 14 or 15 answers right, your level is somewhere between A2 and B1. With 16 or 17 correct answers, your level is B1. When you get 18 or 19 answers right, you're between B1 and B2. If you got 20 answers right, your level is B2. Let's take a look at what you can do with B1 and B2 ability. B1 shows you have mastered the basics of English and have practical language skills for everyday use. B2 shows you can live and work independently in an English-speaking country or study in courses taught in English. With 21 and 22 correct answers, you're probably a B2 or C1 learner. With 23 to 25 right answers, you're between C1 and C2, the most advanced level in this framework of reference. If you have a C1 level of English, you can express yourself fluently without much obvious searching for expressions. You can also use language effectively for social, academic and professional purposes. If you have a C2 English level, you can understand with ease virtually everything you hear or read. You can express yourself very fluently and precisely, differentiating finer shades of meaning even in more complex situations. Keep in mind, we have only looked at input, that is reading, listening, and grammar. However, this test is a great way to get an estimate of where you are at and what you need to work more on. Be sure to write your score in the comments below. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe because more essential content is on the way. Have a nice time!